Hey everyone, Blood Jamai here, and welcome to another video. So for today's video, I'm just going to be doing a simple drawing tips tutorial with Fire Alpaca. And for this, you probably would need the Wacom drawing tablet, because that's what I use for this. Um, I will put the link in the description. Um, you can get it at Target. It's pretty cheap. I got it for my birthday. Well, not my birthday, for Christmas. And it makes it look really cool and stuff. So... As you can see, when you have the tablet, it makes everything look all pretty and pointy and stuff. And then, you know, kind of just looks precise and stuff and really nice when you draw. But then without it, this is kind of what it looks like. This is me without the tablet, so it kind of looks a little bad. And then there's that. So it looks really pretty and just, you know, pointy. So you want that and not this. This is just for the tablet and not tablet. So I'm really sorry if you don't have a drawn tablet for this. So for this, if you're like trying to draw like the base of a circle or something, um, there is a tr tools where you can do circle, you can draw a circle for this. And also for pen tools, you can go to pencil. And I just like to put my pencil, um, no force and force in and out. And I like to push it all the way back and it just makes it look really, really cool. As you can see what I just did. Um, and sometimes the thicker it is, the bigger it can get. So it looks a lot, just like really cool. I love all these tools. Um, you can use pen tool, pencil, and all of that. And if you're new to this, um, to move the circle thing, you just use that little, cut that little black dot, and then it will move it. But um, if you're not really great at drawing circles, you can use that. But I'm pretty not that great at drawing circles, so I'm just gonna just draw my own circle, even though I'm not that great. So like that, and just kind of, you know, you know, some height. People don't really like the little <clears throat> line, but there is a purpose for it, so you can like adjust where the eyes will go. So you just put a line up there and a line straight across. And then you go, yeah, it looks really cool. <laughs> just keep circling. And then go to opacity to make it a little bit lighter, like dimmer, so you can really see it. And then um, go to another layer, which you click that little thing there. And then we just start drawing. I'm drawing an eye. I'm really bad at eyes. So, um,. This is kind of like for kind of cute little person human, I would say, but for eyes. Um, there's also different tools with, um, I usually use watercolor tool because it's really useful and stuff. Uh, push that all the way back. And then, you know, just, I usually use the watercolor. And then there's also airbrush. There are so many other tools that you can use for this. Um, once again, you do need a Wacom tablet for this. It is actually not that expensive but there's also smudge tool where you don't really need that now but um so yeah these are all the cute cute cool tools once i kind of described how to you know use different the different tools i'm going to teach you kind of how like different eyes and stuff i mean not eyes ears and you know tails and fur kind of you know what are the things that people like to do when you draw full body and if you guys are really good at drawing fur and ears that's fine you don't have to listen to it but this is just you know a tutorial on how to do it if you don't so you kind of, for an ear like that, you kind of just put like a little line like that and just draw some hair on the ear because ears have hair for animals and also different kind of eyes, I'm pretty bad at that. Um, I kind of just draw these basic cute little eyes sometimes or just, you know, realistic. And if you think about it, just kind of, if you're interested, anime sort of eyes or something, like that deer I just drew. Um, you can kind of draw some anime sort of type of eyes, sort of theme eyes. I know that Belly Spirit does kind of anime eyes, I guess I would call it anime, but um, many others use like anime set, or you can just try realistic eyes, like actual animal eyes. Um, Elm Shade is an artist who uses realistic looks for her animal style and stuff, which is really amazing. Um, yeah, I don't know why I just drew it be random. <laughs> So, there's different tools by different sizes, different ears you can draw. Um, I prefer not to do fade in tool, which is pen tool. Um, and I'm also going to give you some techniques on how to shade, I guess. Best color shades would probably, um, yeah, you can color in with all these cool pencil tool, um, watercolor tool or anything. Just nothing like airbrush or something, but you can probably use airbrush. But just to make it easier, you can do pencil tool to, um, color your animal. And best shading tools would probably be the color purple. So you can see it looks a little weird. You're like, oh my gosh, why would you do that color purple? But um, actually purple is a really good shading tool. 
color that you can use. So just kind of, um, just kind of do the outer line of the animal. Don't kind of go in the center. So just draw that type of, don't do that. Don't, no, don't do that. Because it's kind of just random to put like a little shade right there. So just kind of do on the edges of the line, sort of. I guess that's, I'm really bad at explaining how to shade, but you know, it looks cool. And then you go to blending and click multiply and then you just kind of go to the opacity and kind of make it dim so it looks really cool, sort of like that. But it looks really bad since my drawing is incomplete. Another good color to use is black for shading. Yeah, it looks pretty bad right now, but once you get it like pretty great and stuff with all like its finished shadings and stuff, it will look really, really nice in my opinion. So black and purple are pretty good shading colors you can use like that. And probably for this final tutorial thing, um, I think I kind of, I'm kind of new and noob to this. I kind of just started learning how to draw this, but, um, I noticed that not a lot of people knew how to make realistic fur with Final Alpaca, so I kind of just created my own little style of how to. So, um, this is just my tutorial on how to make kind of realistic fur, so don't expect too much from me. <laughs> this is going to be really bad. But see, so to kind of just, like, example, this is just how to do it. Um, kind of like fur ball, sort of like that, and you go to watercolor, make sure it's like, use those kind of numbers and tools. Um, and then you just go to, I think, I made a mistake to go lighter color, so I'm going to go to darker color once I finish doing this ugly lighter color thing. So first, um, don't do what I just did. Do any color you want, I chose blue, so use a darker blue, like that, and just use the watercolor tool, make it a little darker, and just kind of... Put it on top of the other blue. And as you can see, in my point of view and perspective, it kind of starting to it's starting to look a little bit kind of more like fur, I guess. Because me it looks a lot like fur sort of, but I guess the other people probably look like a blob. So as you can see it's kind of looking like fur. But um making fur is easier when you have painful saya and just make it a little darker in the center with lines. Like that it's pretty really pretty <laughs> um and then you go to lighter color and then you just kind of put it on top you just keep going on top and stuff but don't like overpower it. don't be so intense with the drawing tablet because if you have a drawing tablet and are using this don't be too rough on it um bad yes it is very bad so um don't be too intense to kind of gently stroke it and then sometimes i used to like I like to use the um, color white with adding another layer. I kind of just like to draw lines on it. Not too intense, but like this. It looks kind of cool. Make it a little bit realistic because a lot of people struggle with making realistic fur with fire packa, I guess. I'm not sure. But it kind of looks like that. It looks a little weird and cool. Um, so it's kind of starting to look really like realistic fur through and then go to opacity and kind of just make it a little light and move it that's why I made it look a little bad so yeah you don't have to have that white part I kind of made that look really bad um so yeah it's kind of sort of looks like realistic for it kind of looks like a pom-pom or something like that but yeah there are other ways to make realistic fur but you probably don't even need that white area right there Anyways, streamers, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a lucky thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. If you have any questions, um, please just ask any questions in the tutorial and like how to do this. And also, if you want, I can also give you more tutorials with Fire Alpaca because some of you guys asked. So just ask those tutorials you want in the description in the comments, and I will be sure to make those videos. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a lucky thumbs up and subscribe. Bye, jammers.